here we are at our camp registration main page. On this page, I would suggest first to make sure that you are logged in. Select keep me logged in. Go back to the registration page and we are logged in. Here you will find a group registration option and an individual registration. If you've already created a unit registration, you can scroll down, follow this link to access the registration you've already made so that you can register youth and adults through that registration. For this segment of the video, we will be creating a unit registration and adding adult campers and youth campers. So we will click the green button to register online. We will select a unit registration. And if you are not ready to register participants, you will leave this blank. But today, we will be registering one adult and one youth. And we will be paying the down payment. Register a group. First, we need to add our information. If you have a unit that you normally register for, you can populate. And it will fill in this information for your unit. Then we will also need to enter our group leader information. And then we will add our estimated youth of 20 scouts and our estimated adults, three. Here you will select if you will have attendees at NYLT, yes, no, or maybe. And if you are willing to host individual scouts, yes, no, or willing to consider. And then we will save. And then we must select a campsite. Please note that this will not show up until you have entered your information. Today we will be selecting the Reed campsite and there is a $100 campsite deposit. Then we will return. And then here we will add information about our participants. If you have participants that you register normally, you can populate them. We will enter their information. Adults, please note that you must be registered with the BSA if you are attending camp for more for 72 hours or more. There's more information at this link here. Save. And then we will need to enter our youth. Here for youth, it will ask if you're using a discount code. Today, we are not. Once our information has been entered, we can proceed to check out. However, if you wanna change how much you're paying for an adult or youth, you can change payment here. We are going to pay $100. You can also apply a discount by clicking this button. After you have entered your uh, youth information and after the merit badge registration has opened, you can either select activities now 
or you can wait. Right now we will choose archaeology at 9 to 10. Please note that if you've selected a time for a badge, that time will no longer appear in these available merit badges. And then we will proceed to check out. Please note that this is how much the total purchase costs, and this is how much you've decided to pay it today. We will enter our customer information, and then we can enter our payment information, as well as a payment address if it is different than your address. If you do not want to pay the 2% card fee, you can change payment method and enter an electronic check. The information needed is the name on the account, bank routing number, account number, and be sure that the address for this bank account is the one associated with the account. We will agree to the council terms and conditions and then we will place our order. In this section of the video, we will cover how to access an existing registration for the unit. In the unit registration, you can add participants, add or edit merit badges, make additional payments, and manage camp contacts. There are a number of ways from the Dan Beard website to get into your unit registration. You can go to the Attend Camp Freelander page, scroll down to Unit Participant Registration and click here, or you can go to danbeard.org, hover over Camping, and Manage Camp Registrations. Be sure that you are logged in, and when you're logged in, this is your main page. And here you'll find your current events. If you have registered your unit, you can find that here. And you can also find the unit registration if you've been added as a unit contact. Once you've clicked on the event, you'll go to your groups for this event. And then this is your main page for the unit registration. On this page, you can find how many estimated youth and adults, and how many people you've registered, as well as your campsite. You can also make a payment, add account funds, and manage contacts. As I said previously, if a leader has been added as a contact, they have access to the group dashboard, which means they can see all group member information and can make changes, including adding participants and selecting merit badges. You will add new here. You can go down to Members tab, and then this is where you can add participants or edit their information. If you have not added participants, you can click here and enter the payment information for this order and how many people. This is similar uh, to what we did in the previous section of this video, so if you have questions, you can reference that section. After you have added participants, to edit their information or to add merit badges, you can click View and edit their information here, see what payments have been made, see what uh, questions you have answered for them. And then after merit badge registration has opened, you can click on the activities tab. Please note that this tab will not be visible until after merit badge registration has opened. On this tab, we will add or remove activities. If you already have activities selected, those activities and other activities in that time slot will no longer be visible on available activities. Once you select an activity, 
it will appear here, and then you can return. And then you can also find your schedule here. Additionally, on the unit registration, you can view the payments that you have made on this page. And you can view the account activity. The account funds for this unit registration uh, can be used towards total payments for participants. And additionally, there is a tools tab. From here, you can download Excels for the participants that you have registered and the activities that you have chosen for those participants. In this section of the video, I will show you another way that you can grant access to the unit registration to other leaders in your unit. Please be aware that primarily only the Scoutmaster will have this option. If you are unsure if you can do this, you can contact the uh, Dan Beard Council and speak to the Outdoor Program Assistant or you can attempt to follow this tutorial. Now, once you are on your home page for the registration system, please view the previous section of this video on how to get here. You will then go to your units and then click on the desired unit. And then you'll go to set up tools. If you do not have the ability to do this, you will not see this option. Click here. And here you will see everyone who has access to view unit registrations. And then you can also add those who already have a register who already have an account with the registration system. Or you can even invite them to make a, an account so that they can use this function. We will start with adding existing users. Enter their email here. Select which type of role that you want them to have. And then you can also uh, decide to notify them that they now have access. If one of your leaders does not have an account on this registration system, you can go to You Can and Invite to My Council. You will enter their information here. And then you can even choose to be notified when the invitation has been claimed. And then you will select the roles and save. In this section of the video, we will create an individual registration. You'll go to the main event page and then register online and then select the quantity of individuals and choose how much you will be paying for them in this order. Register individuals and then you'll add their information. If you already register um, participants, you can select people you normally register, fill in any remaining information, and then uh, answer any questions remaining. And then save. When Merit Badge Registration opens, you will have the option to select activities, or you can proceed to check out. After you have selected an activity, it will appear here and this activity and other activities in this time slot will no longer be available here. And then return. 
In addition, you can change how much you will be paying and you can apply a discount and then proceed to checkout. If you do not want to pay the 2% fee for a card, you can use an electronic check and then place your order. In this section of the video, I will show you how to edit and add merit badges to an individual registration. There are two ways you can get there. You can go to current events, click on the event, and then click on your registration. Or you can go to account, orders, view, and you can make a payment here, or you can view dashboard. Here you can edit the personal information, make a payment, view if they have been assigned to a unit, and then when Merit Badge Registration opens, this tab will be available. And from here, you can add merit badges. Click here. And then select your de desired merit badge. And it will appear here. Once you have selected merit badge, that activity and that time slot will no longer be available here. And then return.